Tonight, a thousand at Liberty University students and staff are quarantining as positive cases trend upward on campus. Over the past two weeks, the number of COVID-19 cases has grown from 25 to 180. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is at Liberty tonight, where university leaders say they're still far from a campus shutdown. Today, Liberty University leaders say that COVID-19 is spreading across their campus, just like at other colleges across the country. But right now, they say they have a handle on it, although there is a threshold for when they'll pull the plug. We don't want to wait till the problem is so detrimental that we have to do something, but we're monitoring it daily. Dr. Keith Anderson is the COVID-19 task force leader and head of the health center at Liberty University. He says the virus is spreading and they're pushing hard for people to follow the rules. Well, rather than being punitive, uh, we teach people how to make better decisions. So if one is found making poor decisions, we look for an opportunity to educate them. There's 180 positive COVID-19 cases right now and about 1,000 students and staff in quarantine because they've been exposed. Masks are mandatory and students like senior Drew Leamy say people are following the rules. Honestly, I'm just happy to be back, first of all, like in person. Um, for the most part, everyone's been following the rules, like everyone all my classes were all wearing our masks. Positive on campus students have moved to the annex a few miles from campus. We stopped by Wednesday night at dinner time as students enjoyed time outside. The other few hundred on campus students who are just exposures are staying in their rooms. When you tell someone you're quarantined and you must stay to yourself, you have to overcome that natural tendency to be in community and be social. Liberty says if they get to 5% positivity or the annex fills up its 500 beds, they'll go fully virtual. But Anderson believes the university is doing everything to keep students in the greater Lynchburg area safe. Uh, I'm overwhelmingly confident that we're doing the very best we can and we're following um, market trends you know, in terms of higher education as well as health trends. Liberty University is still trying to get its hands on some of the rapid COVID-19 testing machines, but as of right now, there's no timeline when they're expected to get those and put them into service. In Lynchburg, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.